Well hello and welcome. My name is Marie Otero and today I'm going to be bringing you a video tutorial for Corel Painter using their fabulous new plugin called Particle Shop for Photoshop. I'm going to begin with a model image that I shot in the studio and I'm going to use the Particle Shop filter plugin to embellish this image and give it some more creative effect. In my layers palette you can see that I have two layers currently available. The first layer holds my background and the second layer holds my model image. I'm going to create a composite of these two layers. I'm going to press my Shift, Alt or Option, Command or Control key and E and deliver a composite layer of the two layers below. This is the layer that I'm going to use to open in Particle Shop. I'm going to go to my filter menu and choose Painter Particle Shop. Particle Shop will then launch a warning window offering you the opportunity to create a copy of your selected layer or object before you begin to work in Particle Shop. Since I've already done this with my composited layer, I'm just going to click Launch Particle Shop. With our Particle Shop interface open, we can begin to add some interesting and embellishing strokes to our image. I'm going to begin by focusing on the Fabric Fantasy collection of brushes. In the right hand side of the interface you can see the brushes that you have loaded or available and I'm going to choose Fabric Fantasy and I'm going to begin with the Veil Brush. Pressing my Alt or Option key in the image brings up my color picker and I'm going to sample some colors from inside the image and begin to place some brush strokes down. Let's make sure the opacity of the brush is up to around 90% and let's move our color picker around in the hue values of the color picker box and just go ahead and start placing some brush strokes into the image. I can vary the color on my color wheel so that I get some organic elements into the image and some nice color variability. The key for making these additions look authentic and seamless in the image is by varying the depth and color of your strokes and just taking a little time to work on adding brush strokes that flow in the line of the elements that you have in your image. And again changing the color on my color wheel and just running through the image adding some different strokes. Now if I make a mistake I can either press my undo key on the top left of our menu bar or I can also choose to restart the image and reset from the beginning if I wish to. Alternatively I can use the eraser tool and zoom in and just erase any portions that I feel where I've made a mistake. switch back to my brush tool and let's change to the ruched brush now and again use my color picker and pick a color source from my image. This brush is a little bit more organic and floaty and work in brush strokes through the part of the dress and the veil that I want to embellish. We have the option in our color picker box to add glow. So if I check that off, I'm going to get a more solid looking color. And if I check the glow back on, it adds that little bit of brightness and sparkle into the color that we've chosen. I'll sample some other colors up through my model picture and continue to add some brush strokes. And we have a little bit of orange here in the flower. So I'm going to add some of those touches of color too. I find it's important to add colors that exist within the image rather than choosing colors randomly as they tend to then marry more comfortably into the work. Let's go and pick the organza brush now. And as you'll notice here, the color wheel has now gone back to a green. So the brush is actually defaulting to the last used color or that the color that the brush was designed with. So again, I'm going to go ahead and press my Alt or Option key and sample into my image to choose a color 
that's within the composition. Let's check our glow on and see what that does. And my brush size is at 19 and at the moment my opacity is at 5 so I'm going to lift the opacity on this brush and that's just a little bit strong. So I'm going to press Command Z to undo that and bring my opacity back down to about 24%. Now the brushes tend to be pen pressure sensitive and so by pressing harder or softer with my brush I'm going to get a different result and let's change the color something a little more pink and turn the glow off this time and we'll get a more solid look. I'm going to zoom in now and add a little bit more hand embellishment to the top of this veil and add in some information. To do that I'm going to choose the raw cotton brush, borrow some color from inside my image and just do a little bit of additional embellishment. I've got my glow turned on and choose the green around the edge for a little bit of floral embellishment. Now if I turn my glow off you'll see the difference. It's adding more solid color and a bit of gold here. Add a little bit more gold down throughout the image. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at a brush from the starter pack and the one I'm going to choose for my next step is the flame brush. So again I'm going to sample a color in my image, the mauve, and just add a few more flamey strokes with this. This is a very nice soft ethereal brush and just work through the image like so. Now I'm working with a Wacom tablet and a pen tool. I find that this gives me a lot of control over how the brushes work. It can be done with a mouse but it's distinctly more difficult. Now once you're happy with your additions and your embellishments in Particle Shop we're going to come down to the bottom right hand corner of the menu and click our save button. We then have the option of how to apply the brush strokes. We can either merge them with that source content layer that we imported into Particle Shop or we can choose to save only the brush strokes. In this instance I'm just going to choose to save only the brush strokes and click OK. Now we're back in Photoshop and as you can see we now have an additional layer that was the composite layer and it has been written to us in Photoshop as just the brush strokes only. So I'm going to apply a layer mask to this layer. I'm going to go ahead and grab my paintbrush tool, make sure that it's set to black and I'm going to choose a soft round brush from my brush menu with the opacity set to about 80% and just come ahead and modify some of these brush strokes just a little bit. The next thing I want to do to finish my project off is add a texture to this. I'm going to set the blending mode of this to soft light and it's a little bit dark and I certainly don't want the texture on the model's skin so I'm going to reduce the opacity of the texture layer down to about 75% and again I'm going to add a layer mask to that and I'm going to take it off her face and off her hands. Finally I want to add some sharpening to my image so I'm going to create a composite layer. Let's go to our filter menu and choose other, choose high pass, click OK. Change the blend mode of that to overlay. Now I don't want any sharpening on the model's face so I'm going to go ahead and apply a layer mask again and with my brush set to black and 100% opacity I'm just going to remove the texture off the model's face and remove the texture off her skin as well. And there I'm finished and I'm very happy with that project. I really enjoy using Particle Shop. I find it adds an option for addition of organic and very ethereal and soft paintwork and it's a sort of technique that's not available with the brushes that come inherently with Photoshop. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video tutorial on Corel Painter's Particle Shop plugin for Photoshop. I'm Marie Otero and thanks for watching.